Hi, I'm Mary Leisinger. In this Data Gem, you'll learn how to access the incredibly valuable business data we have for a variety of local areas. This includes not just state and county, but also metro areas and select cities and towns. We also show you how to select a particular industry of interest so you can compare it across your selected geographies. Every five years, the Census Bureau conducts the most comprehensive measure of the U.S. economy, the Economic Census. It covers the business activities for years that end in two and seven and provides statistics such as the number of establishments, total employment, annual payroll and total sales, receipts or revenue. First, let's go to data.census.gov and click on advanced search found beneath the search bar on the landing page. First, Let's select the years section on the left menu or panel and select 2022. Since we know that economic censuses are in years ending in two and seven, let's select our survey by scrolling again to select economic census and then select core statistics, which gets you to the tables that include all sectors of the economy. Then click on the box that says Summary Statistics, which will provide key data items from all available geographies and industries. And now we're ready to explore the different geographies that are available. To begin, scroll back up through the filter panel on the left to the Geographies section. Let's use Indiana and the Indianapolis area as an example. If you just wanted statistics for your state, you'd start by selecting State and then click the box that says Indiana. But to add the metropolitan area of Indianapolis for our comparison, you will also select the Metropolitan Micropolitan Statistical Area, or MSAs for short. And then, rather than scrolling through a list of all MSAs in the country, let's use the search bar to begin to type in Indianapolis. Type in Indy in the search bar and get a few results quickly. Click the box next to Indianapolis, Carmel, Greenwood, Indiana, metro area. Now we're ready to click the search button in the bottom right of your screen. We see a list of tables. Today we will select EC2200 basic because we want a general overview of all sectors for the 2022 economic census. You would also follow similar steps for adding a specific county from the geography filter as well. To see more of the table, collapse the filters. As we scroll to the right, we see number of firms, sales, payroll, employees, etc. And if we want to scroll down through the rows, we see these data for each sector for Indiana and Indianapolis. The final geography to demonstrate is slightly more involved, but it can be very useful. Going back to our Indianapolis example, it's possible you're interested in finding a specific city or town in the metro area, such as Carmel. For our business surveys, we use a specific geography called an economic place. Reopen the filters on the left. You can find them under the geographies section by selecting all geographies and then scrolling to economic place and select it. For this example, I know I'm interested in Indiana, so I will select it from the list. And again, rather than scrolling through the list to find Carmel, I'm gonna use the search function, type in C-A-R into the search bar and get a few results quickly. Click the box next to Carmel City, Indiana. And now when we collapse our filters, you can see the EC2200 basic table again, but now Carmel has been added to the bottom of the table. You may see this notice that the table is too large to display. You can choose to download the table or click on open the table. Say you want to go beyond a high level look for your geographies because you now want to zero into a specific industry to look at expansion and analyze competition, etc. Reopen the filters, scroll to select codes, select industry codes or NAICS. Now we can see the industry. Today we will check out accommodation and food services and then 722 food services and drinking places. We can continue to drill down to just restaurants and select 7225 restaurants and other eating places. Notice how as we narrow our sector, the NAICS code gets longer. Now we see the data for NAICS code 7225 for the selected geographies, 
Indiana, Indianapolis, MSA, and Carmel City. Now that you know how to add local geographies and select your industry or sector, you are ready to explore the wealth of economic data available for you to use. Something that you can look forward to are additional tables that include comparisons to 2017, industries, establishment and firm size, products and services, and miscellaneous industry-specific tables. For the 2022 Economic Census, all data tables will be released by March of 2026. For more data gem videos just like this, visit census.gov forward slash academy. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe.